Hey gang, it's Will from Tested. And it's Norm from Tested. Norman Chan, there's a giant monitor on the table between us. That's right. For this week's show and tell, uh, I want to share with you uh, a piece of technology that I, I purchased off Kickstarter. Uh, that's less interesting because of what it is than what it actually, the ideas it's trying to communicate so across. I, I actually bought one of these too. I thought it was super interesting. What it is is basically a giant digital photo frame that's connected to the internet. Now that sounds less exciting because you, know, you go to Target and there's 50 million of those things for about $15 on the shelf. The thing that makes this difference is actually a pretty good monitor in a, in a relatively interesting form factor. Yeah, so what they've done is sourced a 23-inch 1080p panel um, that's a matte display, so you get less glare, and then also custom designed a bezel so that there are basically no buttons. There's no configuration button. There's only one sleep and on-off switch at the top, and then in the back, they have integrated uh, a small ARM processor, a uh, computer, basically. But it's as simple as that. Uh, it's not a computer, so you could, for example, buy a Dell monitor and a Raspberry Pi and build your own big 23-inch picture Probably frame. Probably for a lot less money. The yeah. downside is that you'd have all the normal buttons that come on a Dell monitor you'd have to cover up with tape or a picture frame or something like that. Yeah, and what Electric Objects wants you to do is to put a piece of semi-permanent art here. There's mm -hmm. No slideshows. Wait, what? Whatsoever. I can't, are... I can't just say, here are my 10 favorite pictures, and it switches back and forth between them? Nope, you can't say, here's my Flickr account, and just put in all the new pictures of my favorite Flickr account or tags. That's all I want. Can't do that at all. Oh. Uh, what you can do is connect to it with an app, okay. and then through either a public gallery or a art club, a subscription-based art club, that you, have to pay for? that you have to pay for. Wait, what? Choose the picture you want to put on here, it does animated images as well. Is that an animated GIF or is that a uh, cinemagraph? Uh, it's actually an animated GIF. Okay. Um, so you can upload your own images, but not even directly via the app. You have what? to go to their website and either upload it via uh, pasting a URL or you can uh, upload something from your desktop. Okay, so we've talked a lot about what this doesn't do. What actually does it do? Do you, do you feel like it does what it, what it does well? Well, it does display an image, and you can see it during the day. It's only 250 nits, but I found that that was still bright enough for like an office environment. Uh, definitely not put in a room where you have tons of skylights or anything. No west-facing windows or south-facing windows. Yes. You can set it to automatically turn off at certain intervals, like overnight, for example, mm -hmm. and there is a uh, light sensor, so it'll change brightness depending on how bright your room is. Whoa, that's animating. Yeah, and also, I mean, its constraints are what really define this this device. You know, no uh, no slideshow, no ability to upload a horizontal landscape image. Wait, you can't I mean, just turn the monitor? You can you can turn the monitor, and you can I guess technically just use Photoshop oh, wait, and upload off. something. Whoop. But they want you to display these portrait orientation images. Hmm. Um, how much is this? It seems like with the you know a lot of times you hear about limitations being a, a design choice specifically designed to make people use something in a specific way. I think that's probably what they were going for here. I don't know that I agree that it's necessary for a giant digital photo frame, but uh, is this expensive or is it cheap? It's expensive. So the Kickstarter, I thought it was worth investing in trying it out in you know a nice, beautifully designed uh, digital art picture mm -hmm. frame for three hundred dollars, which is still I would consider a premium piece of technology, uh, but it's gonna go for retail for $500, which I think is too expensive. Whoa! Yeah, way too I expensive. Mean, 200, 500 bucks for a 1080p display is crazy bones. Is it a special display? Is it, is, are the pixels close to the screen? Is it optically bonded? Nope. Is it touch? Does it do anything? Nope, it's, it's just, just a monitor. Uh, IPS. 1080p display. I mean, I have to say the viewing angles are really good, but I don't think there's any way you'd mistake this for anything other than a screen in your home. Yes. So the thing that kind of bumps me out is it's a little bit of a weird aspect ratio too. Yeah, I think the, you know, the 16 by nine aspect ratio is more decided because and that's what panels are mostly cut in and that's mm -hmm. where they can source. I really would have liked to have seen if they wanted to go with something that was an art piece, something that was like a four by three or different sizes even, mm -hmm. like a, a 18 by 24 or or 12 by 36. Something something you could put a movie poster in or you know some of some of the art that you've bought uh, you know over the years that you don't have space to display. You I know you have a big file full of posters that you've bought that you like but don't have a spot for in the house. So. Yeah, it's a it's an interesting idea and I get what they're trying to get across. Uh, I wouldn't buy one of these today knowing how this works. Would you pay the $500 for a bigger 
aspect ratio, bigger size, bigger aspect ratio that's more like what you're looking for? I, absolutely. I would, something really novel, like 12 inches by 36 inches, mm -hmm. I'd pay that much for something like that. So there you go. It's Electric Objects 1. Probably don't buy this, but it's neat. I mean, I, I'm definitely, I haven't set mine up yet. Um, I'm waiting on the, on the stand. The other thing to note is that the Kickstarter backers, I don't know if this is going to happen with retail, only got a wall mount. You didn't get a stand to put it on a, on a table. You've been leaning yours up just against the wall. Is that, do you feel like it's un, unsafe that way? No, it's fine. It's safe. Okay. It's, it's a little rubberized. Um, also, power consumption uses as much power as about a light bulb. Uh, this like an LED light bulb or a 60 watt light bulb? I mean, there's a like, big swing there. Like, like a you know, 30 watt light bulb. Okay. Uh, I would use this in a place where you don't have to pay for electricity. So put it on your desk at work is what you're saying. Absolutely. We'll see you guys next time.